Hi, this is David Williams from iExpert Advisor. In this video, I'd like to quickly introduce the latest version of our software. We're calling it VTS6 Beta. Uh, this is beta because this is a huge new release. Uh, the last set of releases that we've done for the EA Builder have been the version 4 series, and that's what most users have right now. But what we've done with version 6 is we've made a lot of changes, architectural changes to the software. Uh, it looks very much the same to start with, but these new changes are going to allow us to add features that users have been asking for for quite some time. So if you go into the members area, which I'm showing here, you'll see in the top left there's VTS6 Beta. And if you click on that, it'll bring you to a page where you can click on the link to get to the actual download. Now, there's an install button here. When you click this install button, it's simply going to download uh, a setup.exe file and that's your typical Windows installation file and uh, I've already done it here but after you do download that uh, you double click that and it stalls, installs VTS just like any other Windows program uh, and once you install it uh, it looks very much the same there will be an icon on your desktop that says MT4 EA Builder and uh, like I said uh, the application itself looks very similar to the 4 series, but there are some differences. And so uh, this is what it looks like. This is what the VTS 6 beta application looks like. Um, very similar. There are a couple of differences that um, <clears throat> you might notice right away. We're, we're wanting to introduce um, foreign language support. And that's what we have here. If you see this button and you click this, you can uh, choose from about 14 different languages that we've translated so far. So if I click Spanish, uh, I'll change it to Spanish. And then what this message says in Spanish is that you'll need to restart VTS to get all of the strings translated. So what that means is um, any windows that are dynamically built like this will have the Spanish text but some of the windows that get constructed when you first load the application those will not have been translated yet so what you do is you close VTS and restart it and then you're completely in Spanish um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to English and I'll have everything in English right now so uh, like I said the structure is pretty much the same for VTS we have the welcome screen we have systems if you already created them over here if you want to create a new system it follows the same pattern uh, you click EA Builder it presents you with the name of the system and you build it we have the toolbox to the left as usual with um, all the new elements and the different functions this pretty much looks the same there are so small changes here and there but it's mostly the same uh, we do the same thing where we um, drag and drop uh, functions onto the drawing board and then we can click them to configure so this very much looks the same um, but again the architecture that's driving it is very different one of the things you might see when you download uh, the beta version and, and, and anything from the 6 series is uh, different prerequisites and one of them is uh, Microsoft uh, local database and so what we're doing is we're using a database, a small database that's local on your Windows machine to save all the information that you see and that's probably the biggest change architecturally and it allows us to do a lot of different things going forward like I said to support um, new features that are that are still coming in um, so uh, that's about it for now this is the uh, first couple of beta releases and we're gonna keep on going we have a pretty um, aggressive schedule to keep on popping new software out and you'll get notifications once you install the beta software that there's new software available and you'll get the downloads right away uh, and um, we'll be going through and introducing all the features that are in the current 4 series including all the plugins and then at that point we'll begin adding the um, brand new features that people have been requesting so uh, thanks very much for watching and if you have any questions just send us an email over at iExpertAdvisor.com thanks bye